In this video today, we're going to discuss different landscape regions that make up the state of New York. To start off, a landscape region is an area that is determined by the climate of that area, the underlying bedrock structure of that area, as well as the elevation. There are three basic types of landscape regions that we're going to discuss, and all three of these can be found in New York State. The first is called a plateau, the second is a plain, and the third is a mountain. And what's amazing is within our entire state of New York, we have all three of these landscape regions. You go to some states such as Kansas, they're entirely made up of plains. We have all three in our state, which is truly remarkable. The first one is going to be a plateau. Now a plateau is a landscape region characterized by two basic things. One, you need to have a high elevation, so plateaus are tall pieces of land. The secondly, the top of the plateau is horizontal. It's completely flat. So it's not a mountain because mountains have pointy tops. Plateaus are characterized specifically by how their horizontal rock at the top makes no peak. It's completely flat. Plateaus can be referred to as uplands and that's going to be a little important later on. Now one of our most famous plateaus um, in the world, and it's in our own country, is the Grand Canyon. If you look at this image, you can see that, of course, the Grand Canyon has a very high elevation, but the top of the Grand Canyon is completely flat. That's horizontal bedrock. In our own state, we have something called the Allegheny Plateau, which is part of central New York. You can see here in this picture that you have high elevation, but at the top of the uh, bedrock, it's not pointy like a traditional mountain would be. You have a horizontal top to these, so flat top mountains, that's exactly what a plateau is. So now this particular lesson, you're going to be using your reference table. So I want you to make sure that you have page two of your reference table handy, and it's the generalized landscape regions of New York diagram. We're going to look specifically at plateaus in New York State. So our first example is the Allegheny Plateau, which is an image that I showed you on the previous slide in central New York. Another example is the Tug Hill Plateau, a little bit further north and east of the Allegheny Plateau. The Catskills is also considered to be a plateau, which is not really intuitive by looking at this because if you look, the Catskills doesn't have a label. So what I want you guys to do is annotate in your reference table with the word plateau in the Catskill region so you know that the Catskills is also considered to be a plateau. You will be held responsible for knowing that the Catskills is a plateau, so make sure you write that in. We also, in our nearby neighbor of Pennsylvania, we have a plateau there. Uh, most of Pennsylvania makes up the Appalachian Plateau, and there you'll see in parentheses the term uplands. So as I told you before, plateaus can also be referred to as uplands, so make sure you know both terminology. Another type of landscape region that we have in New York State are plains, which are pretty simple and easy to remember. First, plains have a low elevation, and of course, horizontal bedrock, completely flat land. Plains can also be referred to as lowlands, which makes so much sense. That's where the land is low. And I just want to remind you, going back to last unit, if you look in this image of this plain, we have a meander. So I wanted to remind you that meanders develop on plains to remember why we have uh, the specific structures within our streams. An example of plains in our state, the Erie, Ontario lowlands, uh, showing an image here. You have very low elevation, horizontal, flat bedrock, not too much going on here with the land. And then similarly, Long Island is part of the Atlantic coastal plain. Again, low elevation, horizontal bedrock. So now going to the uh, page two of the reference table, let's look at some of the plains within our entire state. So to start, we have the Atlantic Coastal Plain on the southeast part of the map near Long Island, the Hudson Mohawk Lowlands, the Champlain Lowlands, which border the state of Vermont to the uh, northeast part of the map, the Erie, Ontario Lowlands, and then finally the St. Lawrence Lowlands, which is in the northern part of New York State. We also have to the north part of Canada, the interior lowlands. So again, the word plain and lowland are synonymous. They both mean the same thing, low elevation, horizontal bedrock. Now finally, mountains. We also have mountains in our great state. 
they are characterized by three things that I need you to know. First is, of course, high elevation. Second is folded bedrock. The third are steep slopes. Mountains can also be referred to as highlands, which makes sense. It's where the land is high, high elevation. So folded rock is a new and unfamiliar term. We're going to talk about that more in the coming lessons, but I just wanted to show you what this means here. Uh, you're going to learn that when mountains form, it forms when two different continental masses collide and it results in folding of that bedrock. So take a look here at this animation. That's the uh, folding process. Those uh, layers of rock are no longer perfectly horizontal. We now see that they are folded, kind of like folding a piece of paper or folding a blanket. They're no longer completely straight. Another example of an animation here showing folded bedrock. As the rock collides, the rock layers get folded, and that's a big characteristic of mountain areas. So in our own state, we have the Adirondack Mountains and one specific example, White Face Mountain, where a lot of you might go skiing. You have a high elevation, folded bedrock, and steep slopes. Also not as uh, large as the Adirondack Mountains, but we also have the Hudson Highlands, which are a lot closer to where we are in Tuckahoe. High elevation, folded bedrock, steep slopes are your characteristics for your mountains. Now bringing this to the reference table, our Adirondack Mountains, Kekonic Mountains, further um, to the northeast of where we are in Tuckahoe, the Hudson Highlands, a lot closer to us. And then also off to the east, the New England province is also considered to be uh, mountains with the term highlands there. So remember that highlands are also synonymous to mountains. So let's bring it a little bit closer to home. Here I zoomed in on the reference table close to the region where we are in Tuckahoe, New York which is represented by this yellow star. We are part of a landscape region called the Manhattan Prong. This um, region used to consist of really high uh, bedrock, high elevation, a mountainous area. But you might be wondering, well, where are the mountains right now? Why don't we have a mountainous landscape surrounding us? Well, if you remember from last unit, weathering and erosion is the reason. Over time, the mountains that we did have in our area have been broken down due to wind and water and glacial erosion, causing the elevation of our mountains to decrease, which is why we don't see those high elevations right now. So now I need to take some time to show you how to use pages two and three of the reference table together to answer questions about landscape regions. If you haven't noticed this already, pages two and three actually go hand in hand. Uh, the size and shape of the map of New York State on both of these pages are actually identical. And if we were to, um, we could actually overlay one page onto the other because the New York State map is completely identical, again, in size and shape. So what do I mean by that? Here on page two of the reference table, I'm going to show you guys, this is the border around the entire state of New York, okay? If we were to look on page three of the reference table, it's the same exact border, the same exact size, the same exact shape. So pages two and three of the reference table are gonna go hand in hand, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like with three example questions. So if you look what I have here on the right side, I want you to have your reference table open so that pages two and three are both open at the same time. You need to have them working uh, one on top of the other. So our example question here is, in which landscape region uh, can we find Mount Marcy, New York? Well, you have to remember that you have all of your city names on page three of the reference table. So the first step is, I want you to locate Mount Marcy on page three of the reference table. And here I have a blue circle showing you the general area for Mount Marcy. What you need to do next is locate that same exact position on page two of the reference table. So since these maps are identical in size and shape, wherever Mount Marcy is on page three, it's going to be on the exact same spot on page two of the reference table, which I'm representing by that blue circle on page two. Now that we've located where Mount Marcy would be, on page two of the reference table, we can see that it falls in the Adirondack Mountains landscape region. So if I'm asking for what's the name of the landscape region for a specific city, this is the exact procedure that I want you to follow going forward. And here's a 
another example. We actually don't need both pages two and three of the reference table, but I want to provide you guys with other things that I might ask you. Here I want to know three landscape regions that have horizontal rock at high elevation. Well, the key to answering this question is you need to recognize that I'm talking about a plateau. Horizontal rock and high elevation, you need to know from your vocabulary that that is a plateau. So now that I know I'm talking about plateaus, I can give any three examples of plateaus. So using page two of the reference table, I'm gonna identify all the plateaus that are possible. So my answers could be the Allegheny Plateau, the Catskills, the Tug Hill Plateau, and the Appalachian Plateau. So all of those would be counting as answers because all I'm looking for is horizontal rock, high elevation, any plateau will do. Finally, um, another example, which rocks make up the Catskills landscape region? So this is kind of mixing uh, units seven, eight, and our current unit here with uh, the rock types. So the first step is locate the Catskills on page two of the reference table. That's the landscape region we're interested in. And now if you wanna know the type of rocks that make up a specific land, we need to go to page three of the reference table. So what we have to do is locate the same position on page three of the reference table. So the Catskills, if we were to bring that to page three, that would be somewhere near Slide Mountain. So now the next step is you need to use the map symbol for that area and the map key so you can determine the rocks that make up the Catskills. So if you uh, look at the symbol surrounding Slide Mountain, you find that symbol in the key. Let's zoom into that a little bit more. That should be the symbol for something called the Devonian. But remember, we're not interested in that at this time. To find the rocks that make up that piece of land, you have to go to the small font further to the right and you'll get your answer that the Catskills consist of limestones, shales, sandstones, and conglomerates.